Welcome to the Quotables Live. I'm early. Don't worry. If you're not here yet, I'm early. You're not late. I figured I'd come on five minute or a minute early, not five minutes, a minute early. And look at who's here already. Laura, Ashley, and Carolyn, and Lisa, and Erica. You know what? I think my lens is all foggy. Hang on, I'm going to fix this with my brand new sweatshirt. That looks better. Sorry. Yes, Patricia, you're early. Linda's early. Corey's early. Hi, Elizabeth. Sorry for that. Sorry for that lens cleaning. Oh, that looks way better. I just used my new Mountain Mama shirt to clean that. You're welcome, Erica. Thanks for letting me do what I do. I would be going flipping nuts here with nobody to talk to if I didn't have these live videos. All right, so welcome, welcome. We are here today. I stand before you to come beside you. We're here today to talk about the um, subscription box kits from Adornit. First thing I want to tell you is pinned above this post is the pinned post and it has a whole bunch of pens and a circle. I can't remember what it says. I should have written it down. But anyway, that's where you can find all this information. Now, everything that I'm going to show you today, you can purchase. So the way you would do that is if you see something you want, let me just show you this one to begin with. Did I already say hi, welcome to Lindsay and Adornit doing a Adornit Live? You can't answer? You can answer by typing, Patricia. So let's just say I hold this up and you see this. This means that you can buy this kit that I'm going to show you here. And you can buy only this kit for $40. And all you have to do is type in buy, and that's a space. I should have whited that out. Hold up, my handy dandy white out pen. Oh, come on, because don't put that dot in there, you won't get what you want. It's very important that you type this exactly how I've written it, <laughs> except for this one. Okay, so this is by space PB2, and you're gonna type that in the comment, and then when you're all done, you're gonna close out your shopping cart and finish shopping, okay? So I have lots of things to show you that you can purchase today. Um, this is a buy it live video. This isn't just a normal Lindsay going off on a tangent on her own video. This is a buy it live video. So I'm gonna show you what's in the quotables box kit. Uh, it's not a box. The quotables kit, it comes in an envelope. There's only one box kit. So that being said, let me try to explain this one more time. So there are two separate subscription kits, right? The first one is a workbook box kit, and that's the one that you get the super cute box from Adornit and drawn by me every other month. And it is $30, I believe. Somebody quote me if I'm wrong. Stop me if I'm wrong. Hi, Riley and Susan and Linda and Miranda and Heather and Evelyn. Anyway. So the first one is the box kit. So there was a details and doodles box kit that came with all the stuff that you need to practice your details and doodles part of the lettering book. That's every other month. Then in between those months, there are these project box, uh, project kits, not a box. Project kits that comes in an envelope, came in a pouch really, it was pretty cool. So I'm gonna walk you through what's in it and then we're gonna put together some of the projects that are in this kit. Cause I know a lot of you ladies, um, let me see a high five or a hand or one of those little emoji people raising their hand if you already have this kit. So you can play along today if you want, or I'm gonna take this video and I'm gonna upload it to YouTube from now on. And it'll be there so when you get this project box, you can just go to YouTube and click on the video and then work along with me. Um, honestly, there are so many projects you can do with this kit and I did three today. So this is the quotables buy PB2, $40, and if you buy it, when we're all done and you buy all your stuff, you type those in the comments, and when you're all done, then you're gonna close out your shopping cart, okay? So let me show you what we have here. So this is the quotables book, 
workbook that comes with your kit. Now mine is falling apart, and the reason is because I pulled it apart. And I'll tell you why in a moment. So I took the staples out of this book. So I took the staples, I just lifted them up here and here, and took the book apart because I wanted to be able to lay it flat so that I could trace it easily with the tracing paper, or I could put it on a scanner and scan it and put it into the computer and make copies. So once I took it all apart, what I did was I went to my printer and I made a copy, a real, you know, floppy copy of each page. I'm gonna tell you about why I did that in a few minutes, okay? Questions? If you guys have questions, just stop me. In your kit, you get this super cute, um, I call it a recipe card. I think it's darling number one and number two. It gives you a cute picture of what you can just follow along and do this exactly. Did I do that? Oh, heck no, techno. I did not. I did my own thing, and I'm hoping you guys do your own thing too. Hi, Sherry and Teresa and Sandy, I just mailed your thing. I didn't really mail it because I'm not going to the post office, but I did put it in a box. Um, then if you flip the card over, it tells you exactly what you get in the box. You're going to get the book. You're going to get, oh dear Lord. I just had all my stuff here. Did it hide under the computer? You know what? I give up. Oh, here. Sorry. Okay. Then you're going to get the Posca marker, which $5 is the regular value of it. So this is a $40. You're paying $40, but it's $48 value. Um, and $5 is cheap right now because you can't even get these in America. I just ordered some from Japan. So it's my favorite pen, Posca, PC1M. That's coming in the kit. Then you get a Tombow marker. Um, I love Tombow markers because they're water-based and they're perfect when we get to the brush lettering. But this one is for highlighting and shadowing. I'll show you that later. You get a small hanger. Hold up. This is the cute small hanger, and I want about a thousand of these. So hopefully we can talk Adornit into selling some of these bulk, you know, individually, aside from just in the kit, because wait till you see what we're going to do with that. Then you get the large hanger with clips. Wait till you see what we're going to do with this. So this comes like this. I have no idea what these were made for, but I know for me personally, I love doing artwork like the quotes that we're gonna do, and then you hang it off of this, and it hangs on a wall. I'm gonna take my phone off of this thingy-majiggy, and I'll show you later. Then you get six pieces of paintable, and I found out printable paper. So you can actually put this in a laser printer and print some of these quotes out directly onto this paper, and then watercolor them. If you're not gonna use watercolor, you could put them into a inkjet printer and print it. You have to feed it one page at a time. You can't put the whole stack in. But for those of you guys that are Adornit girls, you know that Adornit prints their paintables, their art play paintables with the art that I draw. It's printed onto this really cool watercolor paper. So they've included six sheets of that in this kit, which is awesome. What else? A trim pack, this, which comes with aqua pom-poms, white pom-poms, is it back? Mine shows that it's working. Well, I hope that it I hope that it's working. Anyway. Oh, it's back. It's back. It's back. Okay. Phew. Is it my computer or did the video stop? It stopped. It's not your computer. Okay, so that was the felt. Flip this over again. Then you get a felt, you get two felt flowers. <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> okay, this is sad. But these were the cutest flowers I ever saw in felt flowers that were manufactured felt flowers. So I, when I didn't have any power last week and um, I had no power, it was snowing and we were sequestered to the house because we can't leave, you know, because of the virus. I ended up using these on a project that I sold to somebody. So apologies to adorn it that I used your product, but it came with this really cute, like, like, I don't know what that is, like a hyacinth or something on a wire, and then this flower and this flower, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to make flowers today. 
So if you have felt in your house, you can go grab it and we're gonna make stuff. So that's what's in this kit. So now that you've seen it, it's definitely worth the $40. So it's buy space PB2 and it's $40. And the way you do this, again, and I'll just keep reminding you, because when I did this for the first time from Adornit, I wanted to make sure that I bought all my stuff. So you type it in the comments. So if somebody wants to buy this, you would type in your comment, buy space PB2. And then at the end of me talking my mouth off, um, you'll go and check out. Uh-oh, Lynn says she still has a black screen. Mine's back. So I'm just gonna keep going and assume that that's you, Lynn, and not us. All right, so now we're gonna talk about this light pad. I haven't used it that much. I mean, I've used it for just exactly what it is, but somebody told me they thought it was Bluetooth or rechargeable. I have not looked yet to see if that's the case, um, but it is super cool, and I'll tell you why in one second. If you want to buy this, oh, I forgot to write how much it is now. It's $180. It's normally $200, and I've seen it as high as $229. So to purchase this, you're going to type in buy LT dash box, and it's $180. And let me tell you what I love about it. <laughs> so many things that I got rid of my old light box because of it. It's super thin. It comes with a really cool carrying bag, which you know I'm going to craft up. So it comes with this bag, you plug it in, and then you turn it on with just the touch of your finger to turn it on and off. The cool thing is you can hold it and it can go super bright or you keep holding it and it'll go super low. So if it's too harsh on your eyes, we're gonna leave it low. Barbara, this is the subscription box. This is the project box. Oh. Oh, how weird is that? Look at those stripes. I'm sorry, you guys. That's what happened when I made the lights go down. Um, this is the project uh, kit. It's not a box. You won't come in a box. It'll come in an envelope. So this is buy space PB2 for $40 if you want it. Okay, so that being said, here's the part where the artist should have been a smarter human than I normally am. And this is really the truth of why I pulled the book apart. Because when you put this on the light box to trace, <laughs> see the art comes through the back side. So you kind of do really need to go and make a copy. Let's see, I'll turn this this way. You put your art on top of it. And you can use the paper from Adorn It. Hang on. I have vowed not to lose anything during this video. But I've already lost something. Oh, jeepers, creepers. I give up. This is also for sale. The washi tape that we used in the last video. But where is the little card that tells me? Oh, here it is. This is my own designs of washi tape, and I'm gonna use it to tape this down here in a second. Um, it is called Bloom Washi. So I did several designs for Adorn It, but I think they've sold out. So you guys all need to tell them we need to make more washi. Don't tell them here. Go send them a message at info at adornit.com. Let's not clog this up with, we want washi. Um, so anyway, you can get this, and it is how much, Lindsay? I forgot to write that part down, too. It is $4. Bargain. Buy two. Because I use it for things like this, and then I use it for decorations. Ugh. Why do I think I'm so good and so prepared? And then I'm not. Oh, look, my light pad is getting brighter. Anyway, buy bloom buy space bloom dash washi okay so back to the ipad light pad this didn't print real straight so i'm gonna make my paper so that it will be straight so then you take your washi and you tape it to your ipad it's not an ipad Lindsay. jeepers it's a light pad tape it to there we're gonna leave this up here for a minute 
Then we're gonna use an IdentiPen. Let's take washi requests here so we can be sure to get customer care emails to the email. <gasps> you guys, you can tell them you want washi tape here. That's so exciting. Okay, the washi tape that I want is floral and colorful, and then I want some with watercolor washes. Just color so that we can take our IdentiPen and go over it with lettering. That's what I want. Okay, I'm done. Now it's your turn. So here's another thing you can add to your cart. Don't add one, add like six, trust me, because they go flat. They, I use them all the time, so they last a long time, but I like them pointy and brand new. So this is an IdentiPen, and it's by Space Identi, I-D-E-N-T-I, and they're $2. The reason that I use this is because when we go to watercolors afterwards, we want um, the watercolor to not soak into the black pen. We want the watercolor to just rest on top of it. You know what I mean? So that they don't mix together. We're gonna do this and then we're gonna work on a couple projects, but I wanna show you all this fun stuff first. So this is what makes this light box so wonderful, Will. It's just super cool. And for those of us that bought a light box when we were in art school, it's about time we got an updated version. So you see how this is working, kids? Anybody have any questions? Because I can't look up and draw at the same time. I just have to make fish for dinner. I hate fish. Ugh. But when you're using up everything in your fridge because you can't go out, Oh, we can turn it off now. So you don't have to stick with the design exactly. You can do your own thing. This looks like a um, Captain America shield. So this will be fun to add your own details into because after all, this is a kit from the detail and doodles box. So we want you to add your own details. I just did the basic shapes for you. Okay, so you guys see how this works? The IdentiPen has two tips. This is the broad tip. What? The page froze again? Oh, nuts. It's okay now though, right? And this is the skinny tip. So what I like about it is you can have nice, big, fat, chunky details, and you can have skinny little details. I'm sorry that it froze. I wonder if it was from my Neil Young alarm going off. I'm gonna have to take my phone off and shut it off if it keeps doing that. Apologies to the masses. So you guys get the picture here, right? The light pad is what you use to trace the designs. Then let's just say you don't want this wording here. You can um, do your own wording here. I'm going to use this to write a letter to somebody because I owe somebody a letter who sent me the cutest Easter card today. And if she's still here, she knows who she is. So I'm going to use this to write her a letter. Okay, I'm done now, I promise. Okay, so that is the IdentiPen by Space Identa, Identi, and those are two bucks each. Buy three to six of them, trust me. And then when you get them, put them in a Ziploc bag so they don't dry out before you use them. Then we're also showing the washi tape. That's what I use to hold down the paper. And that is Buy Space Bloom Dash Washi, and that's four bucks, four bucks, four bucks. Adornit has identity in colors. I don't know. I don't know that they make colors except for red, blue, and green, and they're not very exciting. You really only want it in black. Trust me on that one. Okay, and we're gonna put the light pad away. So for now, if anybody wants the light pad, I'll bring it out again, but it's by space LT dash box. And that's the light pad. All right, see you later, light pad. What's next? We didn't talk about the microns. Let's do that and I'll bring this out. 
because we're done with this here. Microns are a good one too. So microns are these, and you get a set of one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a zero eight down to a zero zero five. Let's find a skinnier one. We'll do a zero one so we can add some detail here. And these are also a pigmented ink so that when you watercolor on top of it, they're not gonna run and bleed into your color. They're just gonna sit and look pretty and black. Pretty and black. And they only come in black. I mean, they do make colors as well, but they're better pens for colors. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a second with the uh, drawing duets. So those are microns and they come in a super skinny, which is this one here. Super skinny 005 all the way up to that really wide one, which is a 08. So you've got 08050302010501 and 005. I personally use the 03 and the 05 for all of my art and sometimes the 8. For my coloring pages, my freebie coloring pages, I've been using the 8 recently. They're $18 for the set of six, which makes them $3 a piece. Great deal. So if you want those, it's buy space micron, and you can buy the set of those. And we're gonna put that away and move on to our next handy dandy item that is for sale. My favorite pen, which is the drawing duet. Drawing duet pens. Get these while you can, kids, because the company that makes them has just closed shop because of the virus. I don't know how to call it, so I'm just gonna say the virus. Oh, there's thunder and lightning now. So these, what I like about them, hopefully you can see, oh, there's dirt on that one. Um, they have a lighter color and a darker color of the same color. So for example, They have a really nice tip and they don't smush down, except for the black one. For some reason, it smushed down on me right away, but everything else has stayed really sharp. And they are fabulous. And you can see that they're not mixing with the black because the black we used was a pigmented ink. So these are the drawing duet pens right here. So those are $15 for a set, and there are, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so that gives you 24 colors. Oh, and I didn't space that out correct. Oh well. We took care of this not looking like Captain America by not doing it red, white, and blue. So those are the drawing duets. and two colors per pen, so you get a dark and a light. Linda says, I have the drawing duets and they are wonderful. Well, would I give you anything that wasn't wonderful, Linda? That's the cool thing about working with Adornit is they listen to me and they let me pick what I really, I mean, nothing that we're selling is crapola. It's all good stuff. Okay, now hold tight, because this is gonna blow your mind. So, oh, I didn't make a card for the Posca. I'll just have to, I'll just have to, ah, gonna have to find something and be able to tell you. Okay, so the Posca pen, oh, it, that's because it comes in the box, duh, Lindsay. It comes in the quotables kit. Comes in there, and I think I already have this prepped. blowing your mind yet? Look how amazing this is. I use the white and the black. They make lots of colors, but quite honestly, the white and the black is really all you need because they just will make your pages pop. Just a little tiny bit of white goes a long way. Just... Okay. I think I fixed that. Yes, they are in high demand. 
Okay, I think I fixed the alarm and I fixed the reason that it keeps going blank. It's because my alarm kept going off, but my honey fixed it. All right, so yeah, these are in high demand because they come from overseas and nothing is coming from overseas right now. But look at how pretty that is. Pretty nice. Thanks, honey. Yeah. You fixed that. It won't go black anymore. We won't lose our screen anymore. Okay, so if you haven't bought the quotables kit, let's back up. You'll get one of these Posca pens in your quotables kit along with everything else. So this comes in the kit for $40. Okay, yes, they are in one of the kits, this one. So that's the Micron pen. The other thing I wanna show you that comes in the kit is the Tombow um, water base. This is water base, so if you put water to it, it's gonna sp spread and run. But it acts as a really cool shadowing tool. We're gonna to talk about these more when we get into brush lettering, which is further on down the year. But for now, you get this as a great highlighter. And this comes in the uh, quotables kit. That's why I don't have a link for it separate. Whoops, I went into the leaf. She'll never know, don't tell her. Okay, so that is this pen. Oh, what number is this? Number 65. Do you have a question, Brent? on top of the file cabinet. Keep going towards the window. Keep going. Sorry. Sequestration with the husband. So let's see. I'm gonna show you brush lettering, but don't think that you're there yet if you haven't gotten the book and practiced a little bit. But this is what this pen was made for originally, is brush lettering. Would love the quotables kit, but saving for a light pad. Linda, you gotta save for all of it. You just gotta save and save and save, because I can spend your money like there's no tomorrow. So pretty, huh? So then we use the gray there for lettering, and then highlight it in the pink, and then we're gonna come back. Wait, Melody asked a question. Is the quotables kit different than the project box? Nope, it's the same. It is the project box. Somebody else asked a question, but hang on, I'm using the Posca pen to show you here. And then we're moving along. All right. No, the kit. I just started the workbook and project kits. Correct, I think. I'm not sure what you're asking. So anyway, that's that. And I think, oh, I wanna show you this. So the other thing that's available today, I have washi tape on everything, because I didn't wanna lose anything and then I lost the washi tape one, is this watercolor kit. So it's a watercolor bundle you get three of the Adornit water brush pens, a really big one, a tiny one, and I think there's one in between that I've lost. You know, typical Lindsay. Then you get the Adornit watercolor pencils, which I'm gonna try on this so you can see how they work because they are super cool. I never even owned these until me, they sent me this great pack. And then, this is one of my favorite things. I used to sell the heck out of these at Ben Franklin. You know why? Because you can just put these with a water brush pen in a journal in a bag. These, water brush pen in a journal, and just go anywhere in the world that you want to go and color. And Joni says, do the kits come at the same time every month? I don't know the answer to that. Is there somebody there from Adornit that could answer that? Okay, so this looks like a wheel. I call them watercolor wheels. So you get all of these colors. They unscrew. How cool is that, right? Then you put them back on. We're gonna use the greens. 
and there's your lid and they screw on tight. So it's just, it's that small. Isn't it great? Okay, so that comes as part of this kit, except I put the lid on too tight. So you get the watercolor pencils, two of, or three of the water brushes, and the watercolor wheel. And it's a $54 price. Oh, I'm in trouble. I didn't write down the price. Where is it? It's 40 something. I can't read it. Look, look, you guys, you guys are my witness. Hopefully um, somebody will come on and tell us. Was 54, now 40. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. It's one of those. Just say buy it anyway. It's by coloring, by coloring. <clears throat> I don't think they sell them alone right now. They only sell them as a kit. I'm sorry to tell you. Sorry to be the one with the bad news. So let's try this. So yeah, if you bought the kit, you could give some, like part of it to a grandchild. Linda, I know you're saving up for grandchildren's gifts. But the color of these, I think these are made by a big art company. So I'm pretty sure that that's why they paint really smooth and nicely. So there's four colors of green, but I know there was a white in there. So you could mix if you wanted to get some other shades. I'm not, I'm not going to take the time to mix here. But this is worth it. It's a great kit. I think we sold these for $18, these little wheels. And so for 40 something dollars for this buy it coloring, it's pretty great. There's the uh, link for that one. You can just type that in. I'm gonna make a mess of a brand new set of watercolors here. I just added yellow to it, yellow to the green. Oh, look at that color. We'll add a little blue to it, make another color. Oh. You know what you do if you make a mess of your colors? See that yellow? What a mess. So you just take this, take your rag, wipe it, and get it off. And then just take this and wipe it. But do it while it's wet. Otherwise, you're going to go back to that yellow and go, what was I thinking? Okay, so that's the watercolor wheel that comes in this bundle. Now let's try the pencils. And then we're going to move on to some projects. I promise you. I do love the watercolor wheel, too. I was just thinking of a song about a wheel, but I can't remember the words. Okay, so the way you use watercolor pencils, or the way I was taught to use them, is you just put down some color, and then you take your water brush, and you smooth it all together. Okay, here's what I gotta tell you guys. I kinda like doing things live, because it's not, there's no, I mean, it's not rehearsed. I hate watercolor pencils. Except these ones work really good. <laughs> Pretty impressed. Most of the time I get streaks where you color with your pencil. And that is not the case here, kids. Let's try this beautiful. I don't even know what color that is. It's like a purpley pink. So it makes you feel like a real artist, even if you don't think you are. So you just scribble a little. Make sure your brush is clean. Then you go back with your water brush and you, um, God, I love these. Oh, I'm so happy I own them. Isn't that cool? Okay, so this is by Space Coloring. Miranda, are you still here? Because I don't have an exact price of these because I screwed that up. How many things has Lindsay messed up today? So we don't have an exact price, kids but it's in the $40 range. It's between 40 and $49. Because see, I didn't put a number down there. I'm sorry, I know it's in the 40s. J 
Just don't forget, those of you guys who are just coming on, even though you comment what you're buying, at the very end you have to go clear out your cart. And it'll take you to a secure site off of this page. Okay, I'm going to do one more because I could sit here and color this all day. I know what I'm going to be playing with tonight. Man, these are nice. Okay. I don't have a very good poker face, so if these were not good, we would be in trouble. Um, I need a price adorn it. I need a price for the watercolor um, bundle. So let's tell you again what you get while adorn it is finding that price. You get the watercolor wheel that gives you all of these colors, not just the greens. There's your white, so you could mix. Ugh. All right, so you get four different colors, or four different sets of colors that all screw together and go back with a really nice cap so they can go in your journaling bag with the water brush pens and you're ready to go watercolor somewhere, somewhere else besides here. Okay, so that's that. And it comes with also, hold up, with this, the watercolor pencil, which I am not giving back, by the way. Oh, it was $54 and now it is 42. Let me put that in there, 42. That's a great deal. <clears throat> so you get the watercolor pencils, you get the wheel, and you get two water brushes. No, three water brushes. I'm just missing one, that's right. So type in buy space color if you want this guy. Buy space color. Okay, got it? All right, I think that talks about everything so we can now work on projects. How fun is that? So if there was something that I showed that you guys missed and didn't get information on, um, just let me know and I'll go back to it. So this is one of the pages in the quotables book that I made a copy of yesterday. I cut it out and I mounted it with a regular old, very expensive kids glue stick because that's all I could buy at the store before the uh, quarantine went in place. And all I was using was colored pencils to color this. But let's try um, some of the markers because they're sitting right next to me because I can always go back over with colored pencil too. So here, um, here's a little bit of news about my daughter. So first of all, she is a pastry chef in Yosemite Valley. So I don't know if you know this, but they closed Yosemite to the public. So the only people that are left in the valley are the employees that stayed. And so she and her boyfriend are one of the sets of employees that are there. Uh, and then I'm going to tell you why I'm getting black on this in a minute. So anyway, she sent me a picture today, and she's it's a picture of her boyfriend. While she was out taking a walk, he was coloring by himself. Okay, Kathy, I can show you um, what's in the project box or the project kit. Okay, so why is this turning black here with these markers? I'm very mad at myself. Because I did this on my home computer, I made a copy at home. And it's an inkjet printer and not a laser printer. So kids, everybody, please don't do this. <laughs> oh. We also added felt. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's, I'm not going to use markers on that again. Um, so, Kathy, I'm going to go back and show this at the very end. I want to work on a couple of projects, but I can tell you really quick what's in the kit. It's the quote, Quotables kit. It's $40. It's Buy Space PB2. And in it, you get the Quotables book, which this came out of. I made a copy of it. came out of the book. The Posca marker, which is a white marking pen, which does this. You see right in that flower there how I'm getting those little white dots? Then it comes with a Tombow marker, which puts a gray highlight line around everything you draw. It makes it just kind of pop out. I'm just going to tell you whatever's in it is worth it because you get the book, which is all Lindsay art, and that's worth the $40 right there. You get a small hanger, which we're going to talk about in a minute. That's what's shown on the picture here. You get a large hanger which we're gonna talk about in a minute. You get uh, paintables paper, which is what we used here. 
It's watercolor paper that's only available through Adorn It. Super great. I wish I hadn't done that flower now because these are so much prettier, but it'll be pretty when I'm done. Uh, you get a trim pack, which is this. This is the trim pack. We'll use that in a minute. You get two strips of felt, which are these here, dark gray and a light gray, because they used it right here for adding your quote onto the hanger. And you get felt flowers, which I don't have because I use them already. So the only thing I have to show you, Kathy, is a picture of the felt flowers because I thought they were the cutest things you ever saw. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to make felt flowers today. So we got a lot to still do here, kids. Okay, so that's one of the quotes. And the idea behind this is, or at least for me is, I'm gonna take it and you can even do it as you work on it. it. Doesn't even have to be when you're done. I'm not gonna jazz this one up, but I would. Well, I'll show you. So then you can hang it like that. But I'm gonna tie ribbons on these. I'm gonna tie ribbons here. I'm gonna make little felt flowers, um, which I can show you how I made those in a minute but we're gonna do felt flowers and I would glue them right here on the hanger or the big ones that come in the kit that I used already. So you could even put felt flowers on this. Oh my God, that'd be cute. Put those right in the center of some of these flowers. Oh, so cute. So that I'm gonna show last. So that's the, the big hanger. So that's part of this $40 kit. I'm gonna put it back here because at the very end I'm gonna show you how cute all this stuff is. Okay, now next, where's all my projects? Oh, Lindsay. Hang on, while I'm looking for what I've lost here, let me show you that. We never ever talk about the lettering book anymore and that's because I always think everybody owns it, but they all don't. You guys don't all own this yet. This is the lettering book that this whole deal was based off of. So you can buy the lettering book today as part of your purchases by Space Lettering. And this has all the lettering that you see me do all the time. And it has the writer's block. It has the wave girl. It's going to have mo movie star and ombre lettering. It's got script. It's got modern calligraffiti got calligraphy, then we go into brush lettering, and it's just great. So if you don't have the book already, it is $18 and you can purchase it today and it is Creative Hand Lettering with Lindsay and the code for buying it today live is Buy Space Lettering, okay? So you can buy that as well. I always forget to talk about the book. Put that in here. Okay, so I also did this card, which I think is really super cute. So I do a lot of sewing with my projects. And it was from the first page. No, is that the first page? I gotta find it. This is why I took my book apart. It's much easier for me to lose things. So in the book, it's this page. So some of the pages have two quotes on them. Did somebody ask a question? Adorn it, do you sell the Posca markers separately? Not right now, because they're from China and we can't get anything from China. I personally can't even buy extra Posca pens, so I was so happy when my kit came, so I got one. Pretty excited about that. So I took this and I traced it with the light box, with the light pad, onto cardstock with a black Identa pen that we used earlier. And then I used the watercolors from the kit and the Posca white pen from the kit, and then I stitched it with a piece of paper, scrap of paper on the back side, and I'm going to be sending a card to a friend. So it's gonna be a postcard. Isn't that cute? So you don't have to just do things that hang on the wall. Is Teresa here and Corey? There's a mother and a daughter here right now talking to each other. Teresa Wick and Corey Dogwood. Hi, Teresa, hi, Corey. Anyway, so I stitched this on here. You don't have to do this, but if for some reason you're making postcards and you wanna put something on the back, Please don't use a glue stick because it'll fall off in the mail. Um, use double-sided tape. Really strong double-sided tape. That's why I stitch a lot 
because I don't want them coming off in the mail. But isn't that cute? And here, did we do the, oh yeah, we used the gray to highlight. And I'll show you the Posca. It's just such a great thing. Look at how cool it is. It just adds so much to have that little white highlight. Okay, now we're gonna get to our big project. It's gonna take me 20 minutes to complete, I hope. So, that's from the book. Uh, okay, next is the project that we're all waiting to work on. So what I did was I took this Color Me Happy from the book and I, um, I may not color it today, I wanna put the project together. So I stitched it onto some cardstock from Adorn It and then another piece of cardstock that I got, who knows where. I mean, come on, we're all scrapbookers from days past and we probably have cardstock coming out of our kazoozies. Oh, look, I can even write a note on the back. Oh, that's just awesome. So this is gonna go on this hanger. How, you might ask? Easy peasy. So I took a lot of fabric scraps, right? I'm going to punch with a punch. Oh, right in front of my face. So all you need is a regular old punch. And I'm gonna do three holes. So I'm gonna punch one here, one here, and one here. Because I don't know if you remember what Adornit did, and I don't know what I did with it, but theirs was attached with felt. Mine's going to be attached with uh, scraps. So let's use Lindsay Adornit scraps. So if you wanna know how you rag fabric, you just cut a little slit into a piece of fabric and you rip. And that's how we rag it. I love raggy fabric. So I may color this when we're not on camera, but I wanted to put it all together and show you guys how to make some felt flowers. Cute. And I mean, you don't have to tie it tight if you don't want to, because then you could change it out all the time. But some of these, like that is really raggy. Got a little bit too raggy there. This is a good time to ask questions while I'm crafting, if you have any questions. I hope my hair's not in the way, because I stand when I craft. But this is how I would use this hanger. I like what the girls at Adorn It did with the felt, but I, I need my felt for something else. Wait till you see. It's the piece de resistance. Let's use this cool turquoise. -y. Corey and Teresa are talking to each other in the comments. It's so cute. Teresa lives where there's a boatload of snow. Is it snowing now, Teresa? And Corey lives down the hill by me, where there's very little snow at the moment, if none. I don't think there's any. Okay, so how cute is that? So now you've just attached that to your hanger. I think I added way too many fabric scraps, or I cut way too many. I love this black and white polka dot, though. Let's use that. What other colors in here? Weird yellow. And is there a green? That color green. Oh, I used that one. So yes, let's use... Did I use purple? Yeah. Okay, so... It's raining in Bacaville. Must be coming this way then. I like the rags better than the felt also, Linda. Don't tell the girls that adorn it. You know, when I create things, like even with the lettering book, and then I come out with it, and then somebody uses it better than I did to begin with, it's still a cool thing because I had the original idea, and then they took it and ran with it. What am I trying to do here? Trying to tie a knot, that's all. I have to redo that, but that's still cute once I cut it a little bit. All right, so cute, right? So that's how I'm gonna hang my, my quote on there. 
and then get ready. Oh, also I should tell you about these. So if you guys ordered any of my art journal, my journals, my Sunshine Girl journals that I sell here, um, the reason that I leave threads on things is because an old quilter, I don't know, I can't even remember who it was, so I can't tell you if she was old or not, but um, she left threads hanging like this, and she called them spirit threads because you, you are calling all the past stitchers and people that use threads, and you're honoring them. All right. So now I've got some yarn. We're gonna come in from the back and do a toe tag tie, a, te a, toe, a, t a toe tie, toe tag. It's a toe tag tie. But on the other two, I'm gonna come in from the front. Cute, huh? And then we're gonna cut that because it is way too long. What do you think? Is this so much fun? Patricia said, how long is the Buy It Live link open? I believe it is open for 24 hours, but it will be here in the pin post. If you can't buy it today, you'll be able to come back and buy the stuff. Don't worry. And the prices will be the same. Pretty sure they do their sales for quite a while. When you do this kind of stuff with punched holes, you gotta be careful when you're pulling. You gotta go slow and steady. Otherwise, you're gonna rip your, rip the hole. So see, this one I did from the front, this one I did from the back, so they look a little bit different. Pretty cute. Everybody still with me? I'm not boring you, right? I hope not. Because I think I'm going to take this and go lay down for the night after dinner and color this with those watercolor pencils. And I want to do a good job, so I'm not going to do it on camera. But I wanted to show you how to make the project because I hope that when you guys get your box kits that you'll make projects similar to this with your quotables and then share them here on this page. I would love to see. Oh my gosh, it's just so cute. Give it a haircut. Another haircut. How cute is that? Oh my God, that's cute. So then what you could do, because I hate this. Let's get this off of here. Hate. Come on. I'm going to use a nice, big, fluffy, real piece of ribbon right there. And we'll use the rags to tie little, we'll tie raggy things along the edge there. Yellow. Oh, this is what I do to my ribbon when I get it, because I hate that I can't get this thingy on. Everybody's always like, you're wrecking your ribbon. It's not true. Oh, this is going to be way cuter. Yeah, that was not good. Oh my gosh, this is going to match my trailer. I'm going to have to put it in my trailer. And I thought since we're doing rainbows this week because of the sequestration, um, that's why I chose the rainbow one. When you go to the craft store, make sure you buy wired ribbon. Makes you look like you know what you're doing when you tie a bow. Okay, that is so much cuter than what I had going there before. And normally I don't like ribbon with raggy stuff, but I think it looks good. Okay. Cute. Am I right? Am I right? All right. So I'll tie the rest of these on later. I want to show you what I did with the felt. So I took the gray felt and I just cut off a little section of it. And I may do both colors because I'm not going to add it until I'm done coloring. Look at, look at. I cut clouds. I'm going to layer 
the light gray on top of the dark gray and cut around it. So then that'll be there. How cute is that? Stinking cute, right? Okay, so that's that. And then I wanna add some flowers on this. And I think I might write, I don't know, haven't got that far yet. So you can, uh, let me show you on the, with the felt that came with the kit, with the gray. And then you can use whatever felt you have around the house. Let me tell you, felt is like 29 cents a square for a square felt. Just go buy a pile of it. Because once you start making flowers, I wish I could tell you who it was that saw my other video on how you make flowers. And she has not stopped. She just has baskets full of flowers. She doesn't even know what she's going to do with them. They're very addicting. Trust me. So maybe practice on the gray. And I love gray flowers because my bunny... One of my bunnies that hasn't sold yet is gray, and I love it. So you're going to cut a circle, and it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. You don't have to draw a circle. Just kind of eyeball a circle, and if it's not a circle, and it turns out to be an oval or got a point on it one, one area, it doesn't matter. And then you're going to cut into it a spiral from the edge. So do you see what I did there? See how I cut a spiral? I don't have a glue gun here because we're doing quotes and lettering, so I didn't want to hurt myself. So, I always forget how to start. Start with the tip, and I just fold it in like that, and just keep rolling to begin. And you really need a glue gun as you go, but I don't do it that way. <laughs> All the videos that I saw, frozen. It's frozen again? Or are you talking about the movie? Mine's working. I see me moving. I'm sorry if I'm frozen for you. Anyway, you just keep rolling until you get to the center. And then it'll stay, and I like to smush. It'll stay until you get a glue gun. So, pretty cute, huh? I could even, maybe I'll put a flower. Oh, that's cute. I think up here. And then the way you cut leaves, because somebody said, well, I don't know how to cut leaves. So just cut yourself a little square and just do a rounded oval. And I got several colors of green here. And back in the comments, Adornit said they had felt. I'm not quite sure what that means. I'll have to find out. And then you could do a pointed one. They don't have to be ovals. Right? Cute. Although I think that one's going to be much cuter on this. Let's go back to this piece. Because I'm pretty sure that I love this idea. Just stick some felt flowers on top of these colored flowers. That's what I think the plan's going to be for this one. Much cuter. Okay, so I'm going to do one or two more flowers because I want to show you. Somebody asked me last time to show how you did the fluffy part. You know, the fluffy bits. There's two ways to do it. So if you have a rectangle, you fold it in half. And it's easiest if you glue it together first. But once it's folded in half on the fold side, you're just gonna cut down so that you're not cutting all the way through it. And you're fringing it, you're just cutting fringe, right? Oh, there goes my dog. You guys get this? Is it making sense? We're gonna go back and talk about what was in the kit, all the kits again, right at the very end. So if you wanted to buy stuff, don't leave yet. And if you did already say that you were going to buy stuff and you are planning on leaving me, um, make sure you check your card out. Go check out. It's open, I think, for 24 hours. Okay, and then you just start rolling it. Remember those little things that went on turkey legs? <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. So they put them on turkey feet. Anyway, isn't that cute? So... There's our gray one, there's a white one, and 
I want to show you, we're going to do a big pink one and I'm going to put something in the center of it and then we're going to be done with this. I know this is a little different than normally we color, but I felt so bad that I used the Adornant Flowers and I didn't have them here to show you. I thought, well, I'll just show you how to make some. Okay, so again, you're just cutting a spiral into it. And you can do this with paper and it, you really do need a quilling tool with the paper. Um, Tim Holtz Ranger makes a really nice one. Just make it big. So you're just cutting fringe when it's not folded, right? And as skinny as you can get it is cute, but you don't have to be precise. There can be some fat ones, some skinny ones, nobody's gonna know the difference. And it's just a long rectangle. And the longer you make it, the more fringy you'll have in the middle of your flower. Hopefully I can do this without a glue gun because this one's a little tricky. Adorn it. The card is open for one hour. Oh, don't ever listen to me. You only have one hour after to buy your stuff, whoever was asking. Okay, then you roll this, right? And then you've got all that fringy stuff. Whoop. This would be super cute with a gray flower. But I already cut the pink, so we're going to use it. Then you just take your... Hold on, I think I got it backwards. Take this start wrapping it. The problem is I do not have a glue gun. Adornit says, here is the link to check out. All major credit cards and PayPal is accepted. No returns. So make sure you double check your cart. Wow. I would do that anyway. This one needs more petals or I need to cut the fringe down. See how cute? Oh man, they're cute. So I'm gonna use those later. I'm gonna finish this later. I'm gonna put it back here because I wanna show it to you all hanging before we leave. So let me one more time get this. Hopefully I can find the little card. Here it is. So, we were here today, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to tell you about the Quotables Kit. This is the project kit that goes with the Details and Doodles workbook box. So if you've gotten the workbook box, that means you've subscribed to all the workbook kits. If you want to buy just the project kit, you don't have to subscribe, you can just buy it here today. And if you want to buy it here today, it is $40. And it's buy space PB2, and that will get you the quotables kit. And in the quotables book, you get all these quotes that we were just working on. And I've ripped my book apart so that I can easily use it. Don't rip it. Take the staple out nicely. So, and then you get this cute card that's like a recipe card that comes in the box that shows uh, one of the projects that the gals from Adornit did because you get this trim pack, you get this felt, you get ribbon, you get this cute wire hanger, that's what we just did something with. You get the Posca marker, the white Posca marker. You get the Tombow pen, right? You get paintables paper, which is this that I was drawing on earlier. Where did it go? This, which is a watercolor type of paper. You get the trim pack. You get two strips of felt that we cut our clouds and our gray flower out of. You get a light gray and a dark gray. Look how cute that is. And Adornit used it here to attach their piece to the wire hanger, okay? Then you also get the felt flowers, which the reason I showed you how to make felt flowers is because I already used these and sold the little bunny that they were on. Sorry, <laughs> fire me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you get this pretty felt. It's not this big. It was smaller, but it was this, these leaves, this felt flower, and then this really cool like hyacinth flower. They were just the prettiest flowers that I ever saw that were manufactured. You know what I mean? So then from that, you can make all these fun projects. We made a 
postcard, right? Uh-oh, here's a note for adorn it. My codes didn't show up. I did all the duvet marker, duvet markers, and the watercolor kit. I don't know. Adorn it. Come help. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just the dog and pony show. Okay, so I made this cute postcard that I stitched using one of the quotes from the book. And then, hang on, I'm going to pick up my phone. I'm sorry about this, guys. Turn it around and show you. Look how cute that is. Oh, I do have a mess back here. Sorry. But I do want to show you how cute the hanger is when it's actually hanging. So that's one. Of, that's the large hanger. And I'm going to add a bunch of um, fluffy stuff. Fluffy stuff meaning the uh, fabric strips. Then the other one, which is beyond cute, I'm going to color later, but look how cute that is. Oh, Darlene, she's answering your question. So that's the small hanger, and I punched holes at the top and holes at the bottom. I tied fabric strips through it. I tied a piece of ribbon to the top. I'm certainly not done with this because I am gonna color it, and I will come back here and share it when I'm done. So you'll be able to see it um, finished. Let me hang this one up next to it if I can without dropping everything. No, I can't. So anyway, cute, right? And this one I think is fun because you can change change your art out all the time. This one I would uh, just hang up because it is beyond cute, right? So there's that. That's all, both of those hanging. See if I can hang that one over it, or if it's just too much. It's too much, Lindsay, too much. It definitely needs some fabric strips. Okay, so now that I am hand-holding this, you can also buy the lettering book here today, which is Buy Space Lettering, and it's $18. What else did we have? We have the, oh, now you can see the mess that I have going here. Let's show you the watercolor kit again because I think that one was super popular. We have the watercolor kit that is $42 and is normally $52 or $54. And it comes with the watercolor wheel. It comes with the adornment colored pencils, which are watercolor pencils. They're awesome because I used them today for the first time. And you get three water brush pens. Uh, what else? Do you want to see my mess? Look at that. That's trying to keep everything organized. So I think we're going to be done here because I don't know that I have very much more to help you guys with. I'm going to post everything here to this page when all my samples are finished. All right? If you have any questions, Adornit says washi. I don't know what that means. Did I not show the washi again? Oh, washi. There's my washi. And you know what's really cool about this is that it's see-through. So if you put it over a color, the color shows through. I didn't even show that. Let's see if I can show it on a piece of fabric. Barely. But see the color showing through so it becomes pink? It's pretty cool. So the washi is $4, and it's buy space bloom dash washi. Who's asking a question? Somebody was. Laura Ashley says, can you show us how to make our, our flowers flat? What flowers flat? These flowers, there's not, they don't, they, Laura, they aren't supposed to be flat. They're supposed to be puffy. Ask me later, offline, and I'll help you. Okay, so I think that's it. Go back and watch the video. Again, this video will be saved on YouTube to show you what comes in the kit and show you what to do with your kit. So if you're just buying the kit today, you can watch the video on YouTube when the kit comes in and you can figure, you can go through some of the samples that I showed and um, copy, 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 copy. Or come up with your own ideas and post them here on this page. We love to see things that you do with the kits. Love, love, love. As long as it's got lettering, we love it. So, all right, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna finish my um, pages and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. That's all I can tell you. Oh, I got to go make fish. Ugh, that's dinner. So I'll see you guys later. I won't be here doing any lives tomorrow because I'm going to be working my little fanny off, getting stuff ready for the next kits. Oh, there it is. 
All right, so have a really good night and I'll see you on YouTube or I'll see you here with the next, oh no, I will be here tomorrow. We have an art journaling video tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Ugh, how quickly I forget. So, I'll see you then. Here's a bunch of cute, fluffy stuff. Have a great night.